Hi everybody, happy Monday. Uh, I know I haven't really kept up on Mondays with Molly, uh, but I wanna pick it back up again. And so today's Monday. And a couple months ago, I posted something on Facebook just asking people their opinion on why, why they were not trying yoga or going to yoga and what about it was nerve wracking or confusing or just keeping them from going. And I was so overwhelmed by the response. Uh, the first thing and the primary thing keeping a bunch of my Facebook friends from going to yoga is this idea that everybody else is judging you for not knowing the poses. Because I'll admit, there's a lot of crazy words. There's a lot of shapes that you make with your body that you don't normally go around town making. And there's this stigma of like, there's a lot of people that know this and I haven't learned it yet, so I'm gonna look like an idiot. So that's that's legitimate. And I totally remember feeling that same way. And I was trying to think like, what about it now? How do I feel different? And why does this not affect me now? And I, I think I really got over the fact, uh, because it just wasn't true, that everybody else was thinking about me. Um, because truly when I, when I go to yoga, all I'm doing is trying to focus on my own body and making sure I put it in the right shapes and listening to my muscles and any, if anything's sore and I'm breathing, I have zero time to think about anybody else, especially the beginner that just showed up. Um, I interact with those people before class, interact with those people after class, but I like, I guarantee you I am not even listening. And I think actually I learned this early on. So I started practicing with my best friend, Brittany, uh, because I would needed to make friends when I moved out West and she was like, let's do yoga. And she would, she would do podcasts and a whole bunch of us. And if you're watching this and you live in Utah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, we would go do podcasts. And I remember asking Brittany something. I was like, man, I just like, couldn't stop thinking about this or that. Like, weren't you thinking about this? And I remember she looked at me and was like, no, I wasn't thinking about you at all. And I was, I remember being like, wait, what? You weren't thinking about my pants falling down and the fact that I like hiked them up like 12 times in class. And I was, my mind was so blown and I was like, oh my God, no one's thinking about me. Literally, there's way too much else to think about or not think about in yoga than me, this other person in the room. So I kind of got over that really quick and I would encourage all of you to take that mentality. First of all, if somebody is like commenting at you or saying how they were noticing you in like a weird or judgmental way, forget that studio or forget that teacher. Like honestly, and this is my opinion, but I just think a non-judgmental environment is super key uh, for yoga. So number one, and this is my rule for this week, if you're interested in trying yoga, don't forget or stop, I guess stop giving people so much credit uh, that they're thinking about you and your practice and the fact that you look crazy or you look like a fool. Um, no one's thinking about you. They're thinking the same things in their head, which is sad. But imagine if we all just didn't think any of that and we focused on our body and how it felt. That would be the ultimate. And that's what we work toward when we're in yoga. So. Hopefully that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, hit me up on my Facebook page or uh, email Yoga Hive. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And this is a cornerstone of Yoga Hive. Um, and how we operate is a non-judgmental environment that welcomes all abilities, all levels. Um, and all of our teachers absolutely are on that same page. So yeah, awesome. Have, an, have a great week and uh, happy to be back.